Here's one. What do I got? Oh, a big one. What is going on, YouTube fam? Matt with Outdoor Believing here. Um, it's a beautiful day outside. We are back, and the weather is absolutely gorgeous. Um, I got a little bit of time uh, free right now, and my boy came up to me, and he uh, he said, Dad, I really want to go fishing. So, you know what? I thought about it, and I, I checked the weather again and just, just to make sure, and you know what? And just like that, we're on the water. Um, it is gorgeous out here, and I have a special guest, Mr. Alex, over there hanging out. What are we going to do today, bud? Catch a lot of fish and, and keep some, and keep maybe some bass. Yeah? We might we might do a catch and cook? Yeah. Yeah? All right, are you pretty pumped up? Yeah, but I don't know if I'll be in the cook, but I might. Yeah, so what, what do you want to catch the most out here right now? Probably some big largemouth and and we might catch uh, some bass, some pike, some bluegill, some perch, some crappie. Who knows? This lake really has everything. Um, so, except for, except for sturgeon, you're right. So we're going to give it a go, and we might even uh, do a little catch and cook. We'll see. We might keep some bass, I don't know, or some bluegill. So stay tuned, and let's see what we can do. All right, guys. So today, we are just casting some old-school beetle spins. I got a six foot medium light rod. My boy's got a, what do you got? You got a little dock rod with, I'm gonna show him what you're using. He's using an old beetle spin with a little tube jig on it. Go ahead and give it a good cast, buddy. That way towards the docks. That one? Yep. There you go, nice cast. Yeah. All right, so we're basically just drifting with the wind here, staying close to shore. Little man wanted to switch to a jig and a little piece of night crawler. Have him a little bit better luck. Here you go, bud. Do it. Cast. Go ahead. You're good. I'll, you won't cast over me. Nice cast. You got something? Is it fighting? Yeah. Just, there you go. Yes. Yeah, there's something on. What do you got? Oh! He's a fighter. Reel it in. But he's not really strong. Yeah. Oh, it's a large mouth. Ooh, and he's actually really good. Oh, geez. Oh, slow down. Hey. Okay. Now bring him over here. Bring him over here. I think you're stuck on the boat. Do you see him? Yep. Oh! He's actually pretty go. He's actually kind of big. Well, he's not a keeper size. But he is big. Yeah. Here, hold him. Put your thumb in the mouth. <laughs> Took my whole worm. All right, show him off. What'd you get, bud? Large mouth. All right, give him a release. All right. I'm going to add a little crawler. I'm gonna add a little piece of crawler to mine. Here's a bite. Come on. There's one. What have we got? Ooh, that's huge. That's a little bigger. I don't think he's a keeper yet. <laughs> There it is, on the beetle spin. Can I try like a big one too? That's the same size. I put the same one on you. There he is, little guy. Not a keeper. Here you go, bud. I will. Okay. Um, we used to eat bass. When we were kids, we used to eat bass all the time. Did you like that? Yeah, yeah, I liked it. Huh? We just haven't we started eating panfish and walleye instead that's the goal if we get some decent bass we'll uh we'll try some okay how's that sound you'll try it too deal if you'll try it i'll do it but the goal with bass is you don't want them too big because 
once they get too big one they're game fish but they get a little fishy so we keep the ones that are just legal 14 15 inches those are the good eating ones oh there's something good I hammered it. That was a little bass. It's not something good. It's just tiny. Well, he, looked, he looks a bit like a small mouse. Yeah. He wanted it. Yeah, can I All right. Bass number three of the day. No jumbos yet. Let's try back up in there and see if there is his big brother home. Dad, are you sure he has a big brother? I hope so. Yeah. Here's one. What do I got? Oh, a big one. <laughs> Didn't even know I had him. Hold on. I, he doesn't even know he was hooked yet. That one. Well, that one might be too big to keep. Why? Because. No, we just don't like keeping the big ones. Remember, I talked about that. Yep. Hold on. Okay, I, okay, I actually think he's in there. Get the rod awesome. down. Yeah, oh, he's he's had him right in like. the lip. Perfect okay. hook set. Check, his, check how long he is. You want me to check how long he is? Yeah. Just, that is a beautiful fish. Put him in the sun. Look at the colors okay, on that. That looks like a 16 inch. You want me to grab the thing? Yep. Alrighty. Keeper First of keeper of the day, I guess we're going to do a catch and cook, and today we're going to keep them alive in a basket in case something changes. All right, guys, that's the first uh, first keeper bass of the season, and uh, I think we're going to keep it, we're going to eat it, and we're going to see how she tastes. We're not going to keep a lot of them, but we might keep a couple, one or two, and uh, do a little taste test fish fry. and. See if they're as good as I remember from when I was a kid. So let's get back at it and catch some more fish. All I was using, I ended up switching up from the beetle spin. They want live bait today. So had a whole crawler on that one. We're going to try half now. See if that makes a difference. There's a bite. Come on, take it. Got him. Yep. Don't know what I got. Feels like a bluegill, maybe. Oh, it's a big perch. Holy crumps. Let me see. Look oh. at that perch. Are we giving them? We might. Second. There's a decent perch out of here. We might throw him in just, just to see if we get a bunch of them. Have a little fish fry. That was an unexpected delight of a catch. Marking something right on the bottom there. Got something. What did I get? Marked it down there. Holy crumps. What? A bluegill. Oh, that's huge. That's a good bluegill right there. All right. Beautiful bluegill. Oh, there's a fish. Hammered it. I don't know what it is. He's coming at me. Doesn't feel giant. Small bluegill. He is tiny. Nice little fish. See you, bud. I'm just curious. This is pretty cool back here. This would be a cool spot to bow fish. Yeah. We did a little adventure down those coves. It's too shallow. We're gonna keep fishing. The boy wants to swim, so we're gonna anchor and let him swim. So this is something we do regularly. Gets, uh, gets me able to fish a little bit more and makes little man over there happy. 
because he gets to swim and I get to fish. So we anchored up. He's going to do a cannonball here and uh, hopefully we can catch a few more fish too. So let's, uh, let's both get to enjoying. Ready? All right, buddy, what do you got? <laughs> Is it warm? All right, yes. cool. It makes it tough. Sometimes he scares all the fish away, but it's worth it. He's having fun. That's what it's all about today. There's a nibble. Oh, I missed him. There's one. What do we got? You got something? Yep, small bass. You want to let him go? No. All righty. Oh. There he goes. All right, guys, and just like that, we are done. Quick trip, fun trip, just a little little uh, outing with the boy to, to get him to have some fun. Did you have fun, buddy? Yeah. Yeah? How many fish did you catch? One. One? He ended up catching one, but he really wanted to swim, so that's what he did most of the time. We explored a new part of the lake. That was a pretty cool little inlet. Um, really cool to see. We got one fish. We're gonna do a catch and cook on this bass and do a taste test and see if it tastes like I uh, like I remembered when I was a kid. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna get off the water. We're gonna clean this fish up and stay tuned. And I'll see you guys in the kitchen. All right, so here we go. We're gonna clean this bass up that we got today. We only ended up keeping one because I want to do a catch and cook on it. And we're gonna see if it tastes like I remember when I was a kid. So we're gonna knock the flays off this. Pretty much just filleting it like a bluegill or a walleye, same thing. Um, it's gonna be 100% boneless and good to go. So here we go. First, you're gonna take uh, the fin, lift it up, and you're gonna to go towards the head because there's meat up here. And you're gonna come right down to the stomach. This knife is a little dull, so bear with me. And then pop into the top and you're just outlining the fish. You're running down the backbone on this side of the fins. And once you get to about the bottom back fin, you pop it through right there. And you just come all the way to the tail. Pop it out. <clears throat> now that exposes all of this, you're gonna go right down to the rib cage. You can hear the ribs right there. You're just gonna pull it up. Man, that meat looks really good. You're gonna kinda tilt your knife up, get through those pin bones. Come down. Cut it off. There's one filet, we're gonna flip it over, lift that fin up, go towards the head. And now we're gonna start at the tail section. We're gonna make an incision here. We're just going in reverse here. We're coming up essentially to that fin. And then on the back side, you're gonna ride the spine this way. And you're outlining the fish here too. And you can feel all the bones in the back. So now that that's good, You're just gonna hold it up, pop over the pin bones. All the way down, there's the trash. Now, there is pin bones here, so when you take, take your filet, you're gonna cut a little handle. You waste a little bit, but that's gonna let you hold the skin. You're just gonna go back and forth, pulling your knife. Look at that. There's not a lot of bloodline in a bass. It looks really good, better than I remember. It has been so long since I've eaten one of these. Got that one. All right, so now there's a line of pin bones in these fish and it runs down pretty much the lateral line of this. So you're gonna cut on each side of it. 
pop it up. It doesn't go all the way, it just goes part of the way down the fish and there's nothing right here. Throw that in there. Do the same to this one. Throw that away. And there you have it. We have two beautiful boneless bass fillets. Okay, so now that we're ready to cook this bass up, um, I recommend always wrapping your fish in paper towel. Dry it off as best you can before you cook it if you're not breading it. Um, I mean, these look, they look great, super white. I mean, they look like they're gonna be flaky. There's no bloodline, I love it. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna take some Everglades Original. We're gonna season these up, not too heavily. All right, so we got our cast iron pan here. We're just gonna throw a little bit of avocado oil in here. Get that mixed around. And we're just gonna go ahead and throw these fish fillets right in. There we go. We're gonna give them about two to three minutes on the first side and probably two minutes on the second side. We'll pull them off, we'll get this taste test underway. All right, let's flip it. Another couple minutes and uh, should be good to go. Oh yeah. All right. Turn this off. All right, and there it is. Lightly seasoned, just came off the frying pan. Let's give it a go. Big, flaky chunks, steaming meat. Let's see how she tastes. Yeah, there's nothing bad about that. It's not fishy at all. It's got really good texture. Um, that's good, if not better than when I was a kid. Um, bass is one of those controversial fish. A lot of people think you shouldn't keep them just because they're a game fish. I beg to differ. I grew up eating bass. I know a lot of people that do. It's a great fish to eat. Um, they're still fun to catch as a game fish. I won't eat the giant ones that I catch, but little ones like this, I'll take some of these home any day. They're delicious, um, and I recommend them for any table fare. So I appreciate you guys watching. I really do. I hope you enjoyed it. It was just a quick outing with, with me and my boy, and um, got to do a little taste test and nostalgic cook for a, a, a bass, and I'm super excited how it turned out. So hopefully you guys liked it. If you did, hit that like button. If you want to see more, hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification button to see when uh, new drop or new videos get dropped. And uh, yeah, I appreciate you guys watching. So until next time, you guys have a good one.